this is a alpha particle scattering experiment and uh, by this alpha particle scattering experiment that rutherford concluded that most of the mass most of the mass is uh, situated at the uh, concentrated at the center nucleus that is uh, and around this uh, nucleus the electrons are revolving like a planet here in this uh, rutherford is given by uh, given the planetary atomic model and uh, here if we take this uh, alpha particle trajectory then we can observe the trajectory of alpha particle here the alpha particles are moving for example if this is the target if this is the target and uh, if this is the source from this source the alpha particles are coming and uh, colliding with this uh, alpha uh, this target then it uh, comes back in the same direction only some of the alpha particles are colliding with this uh, target because the most of the most of this uh, atom is empty and uh, some particles are directly coming and uh, they are scattering with an angle and uh, some particles are directly moving uh, and uh, that means there is a uh, no scattering angle here some particles are coming and uh, they are moving along this direction that means here this uh, scattering angle is uh, depending on the impact parameter here this depending on the impact parameter here this impact parameter is denoted with a b here this impact parameter is the perpendicular distance okay here this uh, perpendicular distance from velocity vector of the nucleus initial velocity vector of the nucleus is called per uh, impact parameter this is uh, depending on the impact parameter when this uh, impact parameter is increasing then the scatter uh, the scattered particles are less and uh, there is no scattering if the impact parameter is less then there is uh, a scattering there is a large scattering of the alpha particles now this is the alpha particle trajectory next to uh, electron orbits here electron orbits means already we know this electrons are revolving around the nucleus in the particular orbits particular orbits electrons revolves around the nucleus in the particular orbit these are called uh, electron orbits in the electron orbits the electrons revolving around the nucleus then between the nucleus and this electrons a force is acting that force is a uh, electrostatic force and uh, that electrostatic force f is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into e square by r square here r square means this uh, r is the radius of the uh, that means r is the distance from nucleus to electron and uh, this is the electrostatic force and uh, this electrostatic force is equal to the centripetal force here that means this electrostatic force is balanced by the centripetal force here this is taking equation 1 and the centripetal force is equal to mv square by r these two forces are balanced each other then only the electrons revolve around the nucleus now here if we equate these two equation then 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into e square by r square is equal to mv square by r now by this one r here r gets cancel then v square is equal to v square is equal to we can write m by r into e square by 4 pi epsilon naught m e square by 4 pi epsilon naught into r this is the v square value and and uh, if we write if we write the 
energy that is a kinetic energy of an electron then the kinetic energy k is equal to of m v square that is a of m v square here we can write uh, this uh, v square value then we'll get m by r e square by 4 pi epsilon naught that is m square e square by 8 pi epsilon naught into r this is called a kinetic energy this uh, kinetic energy k is equal to m e square m square e square 